Hello, this is the Sujong Jeon Hall. Now, this place was known as the Jipyeon Jeon when King Sejong was reigning. And this place is very important and very well known for one reason. It was the birthplace of Hangul. Hangul is the, uh, the language, the writing, the, uh, the, the symbolic letters of Korea and is very important and still used right now. And students today still learn it in, you know, in basic forms and still learn it, uh, uh, still learn about how King Sejong actually made Hangul. That is how important the creation of Hangul was to Korean society. If we didn't have Hangul, then we would still be using Chinese characters and we wouldn't have Korean characters for ourselves. Now that I told you about the, how important Hangul was, I'll tell you about uh, there a story about Shin Sukju. Now, I told you before that King Sejong was the creator of Hangul, but he actually needed many officials to aid him in the creation of Hangul. So, uh, the uh, officials worked really, really hard, and one of those officials' uh, name was Shin Sukju. And he was working here, but then uh, at night, because he was working so, so hard, uh, he actually uh, fell asleep while he was working. But uh, the king came and saw him sleeping and saw him saw how hard Shin Sukju was working, and King Sejong actually draped his royal uh, gown over uh, Shin Sukju. When Shin Sukju woke up, he was really, really touched by the king's uh, thoughtfulness and how the king cared for all officials, and he really, really thanked the uh, uh, King Sejong. This shows you how caring King Sejong was and how uh, great of a king, how respectful of a king King Sejong was. And it shows you how hard uh, the uh, officials worked, how hard King Sejong worked to create the almost the most important part of Korean culture, Hangul. You can see here from this placard, you, you might not be able to read it, but it says, Chang Yongshil created the Chagyongnu here. Chang Yongshil is a very famous scientist, and he was the, uh, you know, during Sejong's reigning period, he was very, very loved by Sejong, and he created many, many important creations that actually aided Korea's development. And this place was where the, where the water clock was. Uh, and uh, they put a placard here to show how important Chang Yongshil was, how important he was as a scientist and as a technician for Joseon Dynasty.